Welcome back everyone to Thunder Thursdays. This is episode two and we have a special one this week. This is actually a fan request in a way. If you guys didn't know, I do a live stream, a weekly live stream weekly with Travis from Budget Lawns. It's called the Budget Water Show. We talk about life, we talk about lawns, we talk about current event topics. It's a fun time. It's an hour. It's nine o'clock every Tuesday. And one of our viewers on there that's very, uh, he, he just, he really, he's very supportive of our channels. Super TA, this was actually a request by him. This is a, yes, it's real sign. It's about grass. You know, a lot of us that are enthusiasts out there or just, you know, love our lawn, we get those compliments sometimes if the grass is really real or not. And so, you know what? I made a sign, especially for him. If he wants it, he can have it. When we get done, you're going to see it on the live stream on Tuesday. I'll have it up there behind me. Uh, again, guys, this is the Thunder Nova 24 laser. I, this is a CO2 laser. There's a tube in the back that emits out a laser beam that shoots down and can laser through wood. It can engrave metal. Uh, it can obviously, like I said, it can engrave wood. It can cut wood. I mostly am doing just woodwork right now, um, but I'm having a lot of fun with this machine. So again, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to show you the design and then we're going to obviously cut it out and we're going to paint it and glue it together it's gonna to be a cool design so last week i really didn't get into the whole light burn or how it works so i'm just going to show you a quick tutorial about light burn right now uh, this is it up on my screen as you can see here this is the design this is actually what i created myself I i'm kind of proud of myself on this one because uh it kind of just I, I wanted like a different like theme like i wanted a different feel to it and uh just not like a ne very generic sign so what I did was I did a little shiplap down here. You're going to see how that comes out on the wood here in a second. I tested it out on a small piece uh, the other day, and it looked really great. So that's what the orange line is here. The orange line here, you can see it's called fill. Uh, on light burn, what that means is fill means it's going to engrave a darker line there. Um, and it's actually going to like engrave the wood. It's going to make it a darker uh, piece there. So it's a, a fill means it's going to actually fill in whatever you're doing. So if I wanted to, I could do that here uh, with that and it would engrave the yes, it's real there, but I don't want to do that. The yes, it's real is, whoops, we don't want to do that. I, I'm still getting the hang of it, the hang of this, guys. So the, the yes, it's real up here in the, in the red part up here, that's going to actually be cut out. Those are going to be letters that are going to be cut out of the wood of the wood. So we're going to paint those individually. And then down here, this yes, it's real in the blue is going to score it meaning it's just going to do an outline of the actual wording. So when I go to do glue down the, the letters, I know where to put them. I can line them up nice and neat. And then over here, you can see this, the red here. We're going to cut this out. We're going to have a little grass theme down there. That's going to be green. So this down here, this is your bottom base. This is your first layer. And then the top layer is going to be the top layer here. And then I created a little picture hook down here so I can hang it up on the wall behind me. So anything in red is what's going to get cut out anything in blue is going to be scored and then anything in the orange there is going to be engraved or it's going to be filled so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the piece of wood in the laser right here behind me i'm going to make sure everything is aligned my origin is correct and then we're going to cut it and put it together so now that i have my piece of wood in here what i'm going to do is, is i want to align my pointer where it is so you can see here you have the little dot right here so what you want to do is, is you want to align everything up, making sure that you're using the most of your piece of the wood that you can. You know, you don't want to have too much of a waste when it comes to this kind of stuff. So what I have there is, is my pointer there. The first thing you always want to do, make sure you want to check your focal point. This is so that the laser cuts how it's supposed to, that it's it, the, the best that it can. And this is a six millimeter piece of acrylic. So you can see how I'm not, I can't fit it under there right now. So what I'm going to do is bring that bed down just a little bit. And now my acrylic fits under there good so that's good to go my pointers up there I'm gonna hit my origin over here on my actual controller what that does it sets my point right there so then what I can do is come over to light burn now and I selected all of my material I hit the frame button right there and what it does is it's gonna frame out the whole piece of where it's gonna cut and engrave you can see it came all the way down to here it's gonna go across now and it's going to go back up to the point that we had originally set. So now that everything looks good, the next step is, is you want to hit obviously start. Just one quick note, it's going to engrave first because that's what I have up here set first. It's going to engrave 
then it's going to score and you always want to cut last that way when it does actually cut the piece of wood it drops down it's not affecting anything else when you're if you're engraving or scoring or anything else you want to have that cut be the last thing that you do so what we're going to do shut the lid come over here press start we want to hit continue uh, that just means because of these lines down here but that's fine and then we watch the magic happen so this is where it comes full circle now as you can see here i have my pieces that i need here this is obviously like i was saying before this is going to be your bottom layer here so let me face it to the camera so you guys can see a little better bottom layer here and then this is your top layer here. And as you can see here, it's scored the letters for us. So what we can do is, is I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try a different painting technique today, but I'll just show you real quick with one of the letters. Once we have the letters painted, now what we can do is, is we can fit that letter right in there, nice and easy. We know where the letters line up. It's really easy to do. And what I love is, is you know, this I, I use a super glue, so it's gonna be nice and sturdy. This sign's gonna really pop with the white background, with the green trim, with the green letters. It's gonna look really great. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get out my paint now, paint this up, and then we'll put it together. So now that the paint has dried, what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue everything up. Right here, this is called Starbond Medium Glue. This stuff is really good, high performance, super glue. So what I like to do is, I'm gonna be very gentle about this. Take this off, I'm just gonna go generously over the whole back part of the grass here. Go easy here on the sides. And the great thing about this Starbond glue is it dries clear, so which is great. Make sure I get this nice and good. I think that's pretty good. Now we're gonna flip this over. Line this up. And you gotta be kinda quick about this because this stuff, be careful too with your fingers stuff settles pretty quickly so I think that's pretty good push down on it a little bit it's not gonna go anywhere now so it is what it is you got it down Good to go. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our letters. Same thing. Just do a little bit on the back here. And then again, the score lines are on here. So they're going to make our life a lot easier to line this stuff up. There we go. I'm just going to continue the process down the line here, and then our sign will be done. And there you have it guys this is the yes it's real grass sign it was featured on tuesday night the budget water show with travis that i do from budget lawns i really i hope everyone enjoyed seeing this sign on that episode it was a lot of fun you know just talking about different things we have a great time doing that show guys so go check it out i'll leave it, that link below but yeah this sign it, it really it just I, I think that green with the white behind it just makes it really pop I will definitely go a little bit lighter here on the ship lap last uh, next time, and that's that's a great thing about this. It's it's a learning process. Every sign's a little bit different, so next time I'll probably back that power down just because it was a little bit harder to paint. You can kind of 
still see the burn kind of seep through. So next time I'll probably just, you know, tweak that a little bit, but that's a great thing about, you know, just doing these signs. Each sign is a little bit different. I have the, the, the hanger on the back, which is great. That glue is right on the back and that Starbond glue, guys, when you, I'm, I'm telling you, the setup time is so quick. Uh, you got to be, once you put that glue on there and you line that letter up, you got to be quick about it because it really does set quickly. And that's great because you can get these signs on faster, especially if you're trying to sell them, things like that. But yeah, this sign, really fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed the second week now of Thunder Thursdays. So like always, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.